What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. Thank you for tuning in to another Mortal Kombat 11 speculation video. For this one, we are going to be spitballing some ideas for DLC characters that could come to the game. Yes, I know the game's not even out yet, and DLC for the game is a long time away, but let's talk about who we could get this time around. None of these characters are confirmed, so don't worry if I don't list your personal picks. The first spot guest character, without a doubt, has to be Spawn. This dude was rumored to be in MKX and in Justice 2. He's probably everybody's top choice as a guest character, and he's been rumored several times for NetherRealm games, so that's why he's at the top of the list. Now we've got another guest character, Michael Myers. We all know NetherRealm loves their horror movie characters in Mortal Kombat, and since Michael's new movie has since been released, it'd be awesome to show the shape off a little bit. For the next spot, we have an original Mortal Kombat character from the old games, Sindel. Since Shao Kahn is returning, it would only be right for his devious counterpart to be DLC. Sindel was not in MKX even though she was in the story mode. If she's not in MKX, she's got a fair shot to be in this game. Now, for another Mortal Kombat character, we have two for this spot considering they're both practically the same character, Chameleon or Chameleon. Two ninjas who have transparent skin and can mimic the fighting styles of any enemy they want. One ninja is male and the other female, and it would be really cool to bring these two underrated characters back into the fray. And now we have one more MK character, Fujin, the Wind God. He also appeared in MKX, but he didn't get a spot on the DLC roster or the main roster. Another character could be the Joker. Now, he isn't a Mortal Kombat character, but he is in Injustice 1 and 2, and we know the devs like to switch things up between Injustice and MK, and the Joker is a very violent character, so he should definitely get a spot on the roster. Next, we get another guest character, Rorschach from The Watchmen. He was rumored to be in Injustice 2, but never made it into any of the DLC packs. Unfortunate as it is, he may get another chance to appear in MK11. The next spot on the list goes to the Terminator. It'd be really cool to play as this guy considering he has a lot of cosmetic options, and he was rumored for MKX, but once again, he just wasn't in it. Now, we have Ryu Hayabusa from the Ninja Gaiden series. You know why this guy is on here. He's arguably the best ninja the world's ever known. With the highest hell kill count so large, he had to have all that bad karma fused into his arm, which almost killed him. As brutal and gory as the games were, that's why he would fit in Mortal Kombat 11 perfectly. Now, for a character that has a 50-50 chance of making it in the game, Pennywise. A character such as this one is scary as hell, and if he and Joker get added in, they could have a face-off, similar to Predator and Alien. Uh, speaking of that, we have Robocop. Similar to this situation, him and Terminator could have a rival battle, which would be pretty sick. Two robots fighting against each other? That'd be pretty badass. Our last guest character is none other than Slender. Although he doesn't fit quite well into the MK-verse, I still want to see this guy loom over his enemies and just smack dudes with his long arms. Either this character or another Injustice character like Deadshot or Deathstroke. And lastly, our last original Mortal Kombat character goes to... me. Oh yeah, he's been modded in every single game, so why not give him a spotlight this time around? But guys, that's all I have for DLC guests in Mortal Kombat 11. If you agree with any of my stuff, then give this video a like. But if you don't agree with any of my choices, then why don't you just give me some suggestions in the comments down below? There's so much room for Mortal Kombat characters to be in the roster and DLC roster, so anything is possible. But guys, thank you for watching this video. As I said before, if you did like my stuff, then give it a like. And if you're new to the Rage Quit channel and you're looking forward to Mortal Kombat 11 just as I am, click the subscribe tab and the bell on the side, and I will see you guys in the next one.